Over the past nine years, I've sent thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of emails, not only for myself, but for my customers. And this email is the perfect email. It averages an 80% open rate. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links, and I am the CRM and email automation expert to help you automate your marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the perfect email. So by the end of the video, you can simply copy and paste it into your email marketing software and start getting 80% open rates. I'm gonna share my screen here and show you an example of the perfect email and why it's so important. And if you're interested in the full checklist where I cover the subject line, how to send it, where to send it from, and how to get the 80% open rates, comment new if you're new to my channel down below and I'll send you the free checklist so you can take this and just simply copy and paste it into your email marketing and start making sales from your emails. So let's cover it here. What's the point of emails in the first place? It's not to look pretty. It's not to have a bunch of information that sells yourself or sells your business. It's to get open rates, build relationships, and get them to take an action. That's really the key. You need to remember this in your emails. So what you wanna be doing is building a relationship in certain areas of your email getting them to something of high value so they click on it and making it personal by telling them to respond back if they have questions. Now, these tips are really important to remember when creating your email because what you want to think about is your email is meant for education and to build the relationship. A lot of times when you go and write an email, you make it salesy, you add promos, or maybe you don't even send emails on a consistent basis. So tip number one is you should be sending an email like this at least once a month. That way your clients don't forget about you. That's really key here. That way they remember. And I also suggest sending it on the same day and same time so they never forget and they know what to expect. Tip number two is make this as personal as you can. As you can see, this email here looks exactly like I sent it from my Gmail. When all reality, I sent it from my CRM. So it looks like a personal email for me, which builds better relationships. Tip number three, the very first part of your email is what they're gonna see. Make sure you have your profile picture connected with your email. So if you're in G Suite, you can go to settings and add your profile picture and the same for Outlook. Really simple to do that. What that does is it makes, puts a face to a name so they don't forget about you. See what we're doing here? We're building relationships, making sure they don't forget. Next, put your personal name slash business name as the sender. So that way they continue to see, a lot of people won't ever remember your business name or quite frankly, don't care what your business name is, but they'll remember your name to make it personal. And so that's why we just use your first name for the personal side and then your business name at the end so they remember, start remembering your business. The next thing is the very first sentence to paragraph here needs to be something about a story. Share something about somebody else you've worked with. Share a story about yourself. Share a story of someone you've helped. The goal here is to share a story of somebody similar to the reader. So that reader needs to relate and it has to be relatable to someone just like them that has been working with you in your business. The next step is this whole email needs to be under 250 words. Emails 250 words or less get the highest open clicks and click through rate. And that's really key here because once you start adding more information, people stop caring. So what we want to do is make this email simple to the point, helpful and relatable. And that's the key. You can have one to two sentences at the very top. And then this is why I call it the perfect email. People like bullet points. So what we want to do is give them two to five bullet points here. My favorites, three of exactly what you are going to give them if they actually click the link. This is like a free sample. Give them a little sample of what to expect if they end up clicking the link down below. And that's the key here. Sentence one is, hey, we've been working with so-and-so doing this, and now I want to share it with you. Here's three things that they accomplish. Here's three results. So we put together something simple, a free guide, a checklist, a template. This can all be a blog, a video, whatever you decide here. 
but we want to make it sound easy in the last sentence. Simply click the free guide that you can reference that shows you how you can get the same results. And that's what we want to do is make this really low impact on them. I'm not sending you a full blog, even if you are, you want to make it sound like it's something easy to learn and easy to consume here. So they're more likely to click on the link. Then last but not least is you always should ask for a response, whether this resource helped you, whether they have questions, whether they have a point that they, they want to add to this. The goal is if you can get somebody to respond back to one of these emails, you're going to stay in their inbox even longer, which is the key. How can we get in someone's inbox? How can we get them to open it? How can we get them to click on the link? That's why I call this the perfect email, simple to the point, and that's the goal. And when you download the checklist, just comment in the comments below, you know, new, or you can comment checklist if you want this. I'll send it over to you, and it's also going to provide you what the subject line should be, what the preview link is, which a lot of people don't do, and then also how many links and images you should be adding in your emails to get the best results. So that's it for today. I hope this video brought you value. Go download the perfect email down in the comments below and let me know if you have any questions if, about your emails and sending an email that actually gets open. I'd love to see what your open rates are and see if we can increase them. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.